Hello. Um, we have just started a summer Bible study called the Wesley Challenge, and it's 21 days to a more authentic faith. If you've not been able to participate in this group, that's okay. I encourage you to check out this book. You can order it on Amazon or Cokesbury, but um, it's a really great daily devotional walking through the 21 questions that John Wesley asked his peers in the Holy Club that he participated in. This week, I was really stumped and struggled a little bit with the wording of one of his questions I thought I would share with you. Am I enjoying prayer? Now for me, I personally had a hard time putting that word enjoying with prayer. Um, and I, I really was trying to figure out why that is. And I think part of it is because of my upbringing, my childhood years, I was part of the Catholic church and we memorized prayers. And so prayer felt a little bit more like a task. It was a bit more rote. I can even to this day remember some pieces of some of the prayers like Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Yeah, I can I can think about how the second part of it goes, um, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And I could say it over and over again as a kid so fast that I felt like it was just something I had to knock out. With confession, I might say three or four of those prayers in a row and not feel a lot of joy or meaning to that. And then I thought about me as um, part of the United Methodist Church and how much I do love that one-on-one -on -one prayer time I have with God. And I think that that's what John Wesley was getting at. With this question, he's asking his peers and encouraging them to have experiences of discovery. So simply put, ex um, enjoying prayer simply means to have a good experience with prayer. From the experiences, then we get to dig deeper in our relationship with God. We get to be open to what God reveals to us and to uh, about, about God, about ourselves, and about the world. Jesus in the book of John has a very beautiful, very real and authentic prayer that I want to share with you. I'm going to share part of it with you. It's from John chapter 17, 1 through 11. And then I encourage you to finish that reading that prayer on your own. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so that the son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all who have given him. And this is eternal life that they may know you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you have sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name, that you have given me, so that they may be one, as we are one. Thanks be to God. I think about that prayer and how um, you can almost sense Jesus' enjoyment in having that conversation with God. It's so intimate, it's so personal, um, it's almost just coming off the top of his head and how sometimes we can get stuck in the feeling of what prayer should be and ought to be and um, it can be formulaic for us and then we, we feel like we have to do it as a task and, and all of those aspects mean that we don't enjoy the prayer. We don't get to enjoy that experience and time with God. So I encourage you this week to find an opportunity to enjoy prayer, find a routine um, find and identify a time and place in your house, in your office, in your car, where you can pray. 
schedule several times during the day to pray. You can even use some of those apps on your phone as little reminders. Pray with others and for others. And you can find such a good sense of enjoyment when you're praying for others and you lift up their names. Memorize even one sentence prayers for those moments when you first roll out of bed or um, as you're at a traffic light. And it could be something like, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Peace be with you this week.